Hello and welcome. My name is Tahir with Amcrest Technologies, and in today's video, we will be discussing the differences between an NVR and a DVR. I'll be going over each of its applications and how uh, each of these devices work so you can make a more informed decision on which video recorder suits your needs. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel as it really helps us to grow. Uh, and it lets us know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Uh, all right, let's get started. <clears throat> so, NVR, DVR. What are these fancy acronyms and which one is right for you? This here is a DVR, or Digital Video Recorder. And this is a NVR, or Network Video Recorder. Now, these two metal boxes are technically very different, but they both share a common purpose. Uh, they receive and record video data from your cameras. They provide an interface to manage your cameras. And of course, they both allow you to view your live feeds. But where the DVR and NVR differ is actually in how they each receive the video. You see, a DVR receives raw analog data from analog cameras, and the DVR itself processes the information to make a more presentable video stream for you, the user. Whereas an NVR receives video that has already been processed by your cameras, and it simply helps organize and store that footage. Now, don't worry if this doesn't totally make sense yet. You'll understand more as we deep dive into each of these recorders. Let's start with a closer look at the DVR. A DVR is primarily used as an analog recording system meaning it receives and records analog signals from your analog camera to your DVR. Now, most Amcrest DVRs are quad bridge, and this just means that it can support a variety of analog signals. But regardless of the signal you're using, you're going to need a B and C cable to transmit these analog signals between each of your cameras to your DVR. To connect an analog camera, you will need a set of Siamese cables, which is just a fancy name for a cable that includes both video and power. You can use the BNC plugs on the Siamese cable to connect the analog camera to your DVR. You'll also need to supply power to your analog camera. Unlike NVRs, DVRs are unable to provide power to your cameras themselves. But that's about it for DVR, so let's take a look at the, the NVR. You'll notice it's quite a bit different. The most noticeable difference is that we don't actually have any BNC video input connections. Instead, we actually have a series of Ethernet ports. Again, this is because the NVR does not take raw analog video inputs. It only receives video streams from cameras that are on the network. See, there's two ways of adding cameras to your NVR. First way is you can just simply plug this NVR directly into your network. Uh, and by doing this, you'll actually be able to see any IP cameras that are already on your network, and you can just add them to the NVR. The second way we can do this is by plugging the security cameras into the PoE switch directly in the back of the NVR. Most of our Amcrest NVRs have this integrated PoE switch, but not every NVR does, so you'll need to double check if yours does or not. If your NVR does not have an integrated switch, you'll need to register the IP cameras directly from the network instead. It's worth noting, though, that the PoE switch on the back of the NVR can be its own segregated network if you wanted to. You see, even if your NVR is not connected to your local network, your IP cameras can still be accessed directly from your NVR. The NVR will simply pull the video feeds from your security cameras using the segregated network. So now we've kind of covered what uh, NVRs and DVRs do that, are in, that they have in common and uh, the ways that, that they differ. Uh, but how do you know which one is right for you? And to answer that, it kind of really depends on your current exi existing setup. Uh, however, if you have a completely new setup and there's no cameras on your property already, then you're probably going to want to stick with IP cameras, as IP cameras are constantly improving, whereas analog cameras are about as good as they're going to get. IP cameras are just much easier to set up, and they generally can do a lot more. But it's important to note that they're going to be a bit pricier. And because the camera does everything, such as you know processing, encoding, sometimes maybe artificial intelligence uh, events, uh, any type of intelligent analysis going on is performed at the camera level, which makes the cameras more expensive. But for analog cameras, they really only just send the raw analog data directly to, to the DVR. And as a result, you'll see that analog cameras are significantly cheaper than IP cameras. Now, when it comes to the recorder, you're probably going to be able to find NVRs cheaper than DVRs. And that's because DVRs are doing all the analytics processing and encoding, similar to like how the IP cameras were. So to sum it up, 
MBR is a bit cheaper than DVRs, but the IP cameras are more expensive than the analog cameras. So overall, the IP system is probably going to be uh, a bit pricier. But IP cameras are the better technology, and they're always improving and becoming more cost efficient as time goes on. So they're just more widely used, and they're starting to get more and more affordable as time goes on. So you might be asking yourself, if NVRs are the overall general better system, why would you ever want to purchase a DVR? When DVRs are efficient for if you're trying to upgrade an older system, for instance. So if you're installing cameras in a place where there are already a bunch of analog cameras from before, then this can be a great option because it, it, you can reuse all of those cameras uh, with your DVR and add new cameras. And it really doesn't matter if you have a combination of different cameras as long as the DVR is compatible with those specific inputs. Then you can have all your cameras all in one system. So that should pretty much sum up everything you need to know regarding the differences between the NVRs and DVRs. Uh, please feel free to share in the comments below which one you prefer. Do you prefer NVR, DVR? Are you, are you using one of them? Are you maybe you're using both of them at the same time? Um, and if you have any unanswered questions, please feel, feel free to leave a comment below. You can call us, email us. We're always help, happy to help you guys out. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, and if you enjoyed it, please uh, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment and you know thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time